Welcome to Rust Duck Garage. Hey, today we're at the C10 Club of Tucson, Arizona, Tailgate and Tacos Car Show, where we ran into Dino of Dino's Get Down. Dino will be putting on a car show this fall where they'll have 6,000 C10 trucks. Going to be a huge show. This 1987 short wide box, not sure if that was the original color, but it was really awesome on this truck. And he had the right stance, tires and wheels, just a fantastic looking truck there uh, with leather interior, custom steering wheel, all that uh, custom touches. And this 1967 uh, short wide box that was lowered down very nicely. Uh, had a pretty big tire underneath the back of it. And this was his dad's uh, 1985 half ton that was really had a big tire tucked underneath it and big brakes and everything. Uh, super cool truck. Uh, the underside was nice, the top side. This uh, little Chevrolet Love truck uh, rolled in and really kind of caught my attention. These old trucks are getting harder and harder to find, but uh, this thing was uh, tastefully done uh, for not a whole lot of money. This uh, crew cab, cat eye, new body style truck. Uh, looked like it had about a, uh, I'd say four six drop kit to it. Looked really nice there. And this uh, square body here, probably about a 1985, 1986, uh, was super clean. Uh, maroon paint on it, custom sport really looked good. And uh, 1965 Chevrolet Suburban, two wheel drive, uh, down in the weeds with a set of rally wheels on it, looked really nice. Now this little uh, half ton here, 69 or 70, uh, the engine emblems on the fender say 292, that'd be a six cylinder. I highly doubt that's what it was under the hood, but I didn't hear it run here. And it's a 72 C10, maroon and white, uh, very nice. Uh, and another 69 short wide box. And here we have, I'm gonna say a 1984 short wide box and an 81 or 82 short bed lowered. Uh, I got this uh, square body with the 89 grill, K5 blazer on a four inch or six inch at least lift. Uh, there's a later model uh, truck there. A blazer, two old drive, convertible. Uh, pretty, pretty cool. It's a project being worked on. And how about an Okra? 1972 Chevrolet Suburban three-door in a two-wheel drive. Don't see many of those much anymore. And here we have a 1955 or 56 GMC short wide box, or short narrow box, I should say. Another old Suburban here, and a little half ton here. Long bed that had a big block engine, looked pretty stout here. Another long bed that was lowered down on the factory wheels with the hubcaps on it here. A short wide box uh, with a uh, set of rally wheels on it. I'm going to say it's a 1981 or 82. Uh, several K5 Blazers at this uh, meet. Two wheel drive, lower down. I really like the plaid interior in this one. A little uh, 66 Nova thrown in in the works. Uh, along with a pretty good lineup of half ton uh, short beds, uh, two wheel drive, and even one four wheel drive that kind of stood out in the crowd of uh, two-wheel drive lower trucks there but a very nice truck the blue truck there talked to the owner for a while there and yeah, real nice guy there uh little 55 shift half ton here and this little red uh, short wide box these guys uh do a taco feed here at this show and the tacos are free and they really put it on the, uh quite the spread of food there Another little 55 Chevy pickup, a uh, little short bed red here with the bed cover on it. It's pretty cool. I like this Cat Eyes uh, white Silverado here, extended cab. And how about that flake in that top there? Pretty cool there. Another picture of that uh, lower short bed there. And here we have an OBS truck, old body style. Uh, I believe those are 1988 and up to, hell, I don't know what year. Uh, 98, I believe. And uh, this little 67 uh, short bed here had a funky bed on it. I wasn't sure what was going on there. And this, uh, and another picture of the 67 uh, short step side there. Nice truck. And here we had a 58 Chevrolet Apache fleet side with a LS motor in it. Uh, pretty neat truck. Uh, 
didn't stand out in the crowd, but uh, another 58 or 59 uh, with a probably a 235 six cylinder in line looks to be there in it at the step side. Here we've got a 69 also with an LS engine in it. And here we have a 68 short wide box uh, with a inline six in it there. Nice survivor truck. It looks like a very, very nice original body on it. Nice looking interior in the truck. Um, really in top shape there. Um, that'd be a tough truck to find in that original condition like that, original type of patina on it here. And we got a little uh, short bed two-wheel drive here. The guy's opening the hood on it there. A small block in it there. And faded paint on there, pretty original looking there. And here we have a 71 or 72 with factory AC. And that's it for the C10 show. We'll be moving on to the next car show. Well, we finished the C10 show and we went over to the Little Anthony car show that was nearby, about five, six miles uh, further away in Tucson. And this 1956 Chevrolet two door post was an original survivor car. I don't believe that there was any rust in this car anywhere, and it appeared to have all of the original paint on it. Uh, the gentleman that owned it, he he bought it and put this uh, small block in it, and it just uh, I think he's going to pretty much leave it the way it is, and I don't blame him. That four-speed tranny was uh, pretty cool in there. His brother showed up in this 1968 Chevelle with a, a big block engine in it there. Uh, we didn't get a look under the hood of that, but it was a pretty pretty rowdy sounding car and here the nice looking c8 corvette that uh, in the silver and black there i thought it looked pretty nice there and here we have a 33 or 34 ford i'm assuming it's a glass car and a 32 uh 32 three window coupe here got a 1970 El Camino here got a set of SS wheels on it here small block Chevrolet in it doesn't say what size and looks like we've got automatic in it very very clean nice car butternut yellow I would say but I like those super sport wheels on there bumper guards on the front of it little chrome dress up there here we got a 1987 El Camino with uh, looks like a Corvette LS1 in there. And still retains the factory AC, set American racing wheels on it. LS1, 5.7 liter, factory bucket seats, little console, automatic. Pretty pretty neat little uh, 87 El Camino here. Here's a little 56 Ford F100 rolling through, sounding good, looking good. Two-tone paint, not bad. Here. got a 32 Roadster here I would guess it's a glass car but I don't know that very nice and over here we got a 1956 Studebaker truck with a service body on it and a small block Chevrolet in it here the AFB car the car beta ignition and it's like an auto trans truck there and we got it looks like a Chevrolet coupe here 37 38 not positive on that and there's an old uh, ice box truck I would guess you'd call that a little Chevrolet four-door pulled in here sound like I had to run a little six on it and we got it here a Ford C600 yeah, and on a one-ton dually chassis I don't know if he's running AC yet. It looks like he's running AC in it. Pretty cool. 55 Chevrolet two door post, American racing wheels on it. Paint appears to be maybe a really old repaint, but been on there for many, many years. Say a hard top here. Got a 67 Dodge Coronet here, 500, with 500 uh, wheels on it. Looks good. And yeah, it's a 
440 Magnum in it. And here's a super nice little, I'm going to say 65 or 6 F100. Nice looking truck. A couple little 32 Fords rolled in here. Don't know if they're glass or steel. Guess it doesn't matter. But pretty cool. And I think there's a Mercury Marauder. It's kind of doing the Oakland Raiders theme or whoever they're with nowadays. But. Ford Roadster here with a small block Chevrolet in it, poly carb on it, set of uh, steel wheels with hubcaps and trim rings on it, some big and littles there, a little soft top on it there, pretty nice little truck, it says it's for sale but there's no price in it. Cool, a little different. Uh, that would be a Bricklin, I believe. Yes, uh, 1975 Bricklin. A little Volvo there. A little rat rod pickup is what I would call that. Here, We've got a nice looking GTO 67 rolling in with a four speed. Nice little car, factory tinted windows. I'm guessing he's got AC blowing in there. All new at Courtesy Chevrolet here in Phoenix, Arizona for $3,917.65. Four speed training. Says he daily drives it. Last back Chevrolet here. They take their AC series down here. It's got AC on it. <laughs> Here's a 1986 Chevrolet IROC Z with the uh, two port injection on it. Very nice shape there. Like Auto Trans. Nice original car. Are you guys coming down this year? Yeah, we are. Oh, yeah, we're gonna go to Ed. Nice, that's what we're looking for, man. That's, well, this year we got both sides of the property. Oh, you do? Yeah, so we went from 6,000 car spaces to 26,000 car spaces. Wow. Yeah, so quite a bit. You guys, this is Terry. You want to organize it. Some of my videos reach out pretty good. And make sure you tag me in something so I can follow you back. And, and this year we're going to have the support as they get down to both clubs, Arizona, Phoenix Club, and the chapter here at Tucson. So we're going to get those supports where we get those guys helping us at the gate. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you would, please hit that like, share, and subscribe button. And we'll catch you next time at Rusty Duck Garage. 100 already with wow. 45 standing by. We're, no, we're not going to, we can't have that many. We're going to be under 200, we know for sure. Okay. Because it, we want to make sure we have enough property for 6,000 trucks. Holy oh, it's going to be cool. Yeah, well, hey, buddy. Nice really to meet you again. Thank you, buddy. You bet. Thanks, you guys.